New Year. New Year? What about it? Brings new hope. We're one year closer. We're one day closer than we was yesterday. We're one hour closer than we was when I started. Fifteen, fifteen minutes to eleven. It's fifteen to twelve now. We're one hour closer. We don't look back. We look forward. See? Oh, yes, sir. New year doesn't mean turning a new page. No, like the man one morning <laughs> heard it. And the man got up early and went out and picked up the paper. Come back, sit down, put his feet up on the divan, put his glasses on, begin to read the paper. His wife out getting breakfast, she said, John, anything new? Nope. Same old thing, just new people. <laughs> That's right. Murders, rape, memory. somebody else done it. Mm -hmm. True. Not turn a new page. Turn to the Word. See what the Word promises for today. See what the light of the day is supposed to be. What we are to do this year is not go back to creed and things. Go back to your old denominations. Not go back to old denominations, but turn to the Word. See what kind of a light is supposed to shine today. Oh, church, turn to the Word. Get back to the Word. Flip the right switch. Quit punching around on electric light. See? Artificial man-made. Turn to His Word and see the promise of today. And then see what the promise is and watch for its identification. When it's vindicated, then you know where you're in light or not. Amen. See what the promise is. Change in the pages or change in calendars doesn't change time. A lot of people say, well, the old year's gone. Throw away the old December calendar now. Put up the other one. The new year, that's, that's what New Year's means to them. To me, I want to see what's promised for today. I want to know what the light of the hour is so I know how to walk in it. I want to know where I'm living, what age I'm in, how far up the road am I? Paul said, I stand quoting again, forgetting those things that are in the past, now I press towards the mark, the high calling, to the complete identification when all time will fade out into eternity when Jesus comes. Do as David did. Put your future into his hands. Don't look to anything else, but put your... David said here, he said, uh, said, my time is in his hands. You notice here in the Psalms 162? My time is in his hands. He is my rock. What is he? He is revealed to me. He is the revealed truth. My time is in his hands. Amen. Oh, my. There you are. My time belongs to him. I am His. I am in His hand because He holds the time. Amen. I don't know what the future holds, but I know He holds the future. Amen. So He who holds the future holds me. Amen. So why should I think about setting forth this or the other for the new year? I just put myself in His hand. Walk like David did. My time is in His hand. Knew that God helped the future. David didn't know what the future was, but he knew God had the future. I don't know what the future is. None of us do. But we know He holds the future. The new year, I don't know what it holds, but I know He holds it. That's the hopes of the new year I have. If He comes, amen. If He doesn't come, I'll still be working if He spares me. I trust the future to Him. I don't know what it is. I trust it to Him. You've seen Him vindicate His Word so you know it's going to be done. His Word... Oh, Lord, let me stay with him, the Word, manifest his life through all of us as we set forth in this new year with a determination, not knowing what this new year holds, but we are holding to him, the Word, that knows the whole uh, sympathy from the beginning to the end. He knows every move and every junction. And Lord, we're just watching him. Keeping our eyes on Him, the Word. Then when we see these things appear, we know that we're right in the rhythm of the Word. 
Grant it save every lost soul, Lord, that here and everyone that hears the tape. We commit them to thee for thy kingdom's sake. In Jesus Christ's name, amen.